Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Now in this video we are going to solve a very interesting question of a charged particle moving in a magnetic field. So in this question we have a particle of mass m charge q enters a region of magnetic field with uniform velocity v. Okay. So this diagram is given in the question. So this charge particle of charge q mass m it is entering the magnetic field in this direction. So this is the direction of the velocity and this is normal to this line. Okay. And to the right of this line you have a magnetic field which is directed inward. So under the influence of this magnetic field the charge particle moves like this and comes out at this point F. It enters the magnetic field at E. Okay. And these are the three things we have to find. Find the angle subtended by circular arc described by it in the magnetic field. So this circular arc, so what is the angle at the center? Then how long does the particle stays in the magnetic field, the time spent in this region and if the particle enters at E and leaves at F, so this particle is entering the field at E and leaving the field at F, so find EF, so we have to measure this distance EF, okay. So now this particle is moving along this path and for this arc, suppose this is the center. O. So, this is the radius. Okay. Now, if this is the radius, this is R, this is R and this is just like the tangent to this circle. Okay. So, obviously, this entire angle, this entire angle will be 90 degree. Okay. Now, if this entire angle is 90 degree, this angle is theta. So, this angle, angle made by this radius with the normal, this will be how much? It will be 90 degree minus theta, okay. Now, similarly, so this is radius, so this is, this radius will be perpendicular to this, so this angle will be 90 degree. I am drawing one more normal, normal to this line, okay. This entire angle is 90 degree, okay. Now, if this is theta, this is 90 degree minus theta. Now, this angle is also 90 degree. So, if this is 90 degree minus theta, so this must be equal to how much? This entire thing is 90 degree. This is 90 degree minus theta. So, this must be also be theta because this entire thing is 90 degree. This is 90 degree minus theta. So, this is theta. Now, this is r, this is also r. So, if these two sides are equal, so, these two angles sh should also be equal. So, this angle is also theta. Now, if this is theta, this is theta, then this will be how much? Sum of these three angles is 180 degree. So, this angle must be 180 degree minus 2 theta, isn't it? If you add these three angles, it should be 180 degree. So, for this question, find the angle subtended by the circular arc described by it in the magnetic field. So, this arc, circular arc is subtending an angle 180 degree minus 2 theta at the center. Okay. So, this for, for this the answer is angle, required angle is how much? 180 degree minus 2 theta or you can write it as twice pi minus 2 theta. Okay. This angle is found. Now next is how long does the particle stays in the magnetic field, okay. So that is the time spent in this region, okay. Now angle is twice pi minus 2 theta. So what will be the length of the arc, this length. Now angle is equal to arc length divided by radius. So, this angle twice pi minus 2 theta is equal to arc length. Now, if I take this arc length V L divided by radius R, okay, where R is this radius. So, from this we have L is equal to R into twice pi minus 2 theta, okay. Now, radius of a charged particle moving in a magnetic field, the radius of the circular path 
for a charged particle moving in a magnetic field, it is given by R is equal to mv by bq. So, substituting this value over here, we get L is equal to mv by bq twice pi minus 2 theta. Okay. So, this is the length of this arc. Okay. And uh, if v is the speed, see uh, uniform speed v, now inside the magnetic field, the magnitude of this speed is not going to change. So, the time taken to travel from this point to this point, from E to F, this is the length and speed is V. So, obviously, time will be equal to L by V. This is the time spent. So, L is this quantity. So, it is M, L is this quantity. So, MV by BQ twice pi minus 2 theta. Okay. Divide by V. So, this is V. This V V cancels out. So, we have T is equal to M by B Q twice pi minus 2 theta. Okay. So, this is the time spent by the charged particle inside the magnetic field. Okay. Now, last part is if the particle enters the at E and leaves the field at F, find E F. E F. Now, see in this, if you form a right angle triangle over here this if you see this triangle so this is theta this is theta this is r so this measurement will be r cos theta similarly this will also be r cos theta so this entire length will be how much ef is equal to twice r cos theta where r is this quantity so this is equal to twice mv by bq into cos theta. So, this is the length from E to F. Okay. So, these are the three answers. Angle is uh, twice pi minus 2 theta. This is the angle. Time spent is this m by bq twice pi minus 2 theta and this is the length Ef. Okay. I hope this solution is clear to you.